Okay. In this video, we will learn something about the profit and loss appropriation account. What are the entries which are made by the partnership firm in case where there are certain payments or certain allocations made by them to the partners. Now if you notice, entries for payment by the firm. So when a firm makes a payment to the partner, this could broadly fall under certain predefined categories. Right? So first thing can be, let's say for example, some salary which the firm may pay to the partner. Right? There could be some commission. Right? What else can the firm pay to the partner? It may pay them interest on capital okay then there'll be profit share let me kind of just remove this one and then there could be some other ones which we are not discussing now when the firm pays any of these things to the partner okay what is happening I mean, and let's say we are assuming that the firm has profits. Although it really doesn't make a difference even if there are losses because in case of loss only this is affected. All these three things are not affected. So for the firm when it pays a commission or a salary or an interest on capital that is an expense. Right? Or wrong? Right. All these are basically some kind of an expense for the firm. Right. So when you were making your profit and loss account, okay, what do you do? You had a debit side, you had a credit side. On debit side, you used to put all your expenses and all incomes used to come on the credit side. Right. So when there is an expense, what is the entry that you make? You basically used to debit the expense, right? That's the basic rule of accountancy. So let's say we have salary, so we would salary to partner account debit to partner's capital account, whatever that number might be. Right. Similarly, just like any other expense, you will also pass an entry like this. You debit the salary to partner account, which is an expense account, insofar as appropriation is concerned. Okay. And you credit the partner's capital account because it is becoming due to a partner. It is payable to a partner. Hence, you show this as a liability and a liability and increase in a liability is credited. So we credit the partner's capital account. In a normal case, for other expenses which are not related to the partner, what we did was, once we had passed this entry, let's say it was salary account debit to XYZ, whosoever that was, what we did was, when we were preparing the profit and loss account, we transferred the balance of salary to the profit and loss account. So what we entry do, we used to debit the profit and loss account debit, and this balance of salary which was actually standing as a debit was credited to salary account right similarly in case of salary which are due to the partner what we do is we credit this account to salary to partner account right but what we debit is not the profit and loss account, but the profit and loss appropriation account. Right? And when you prepare this profit and loss appropriation account, how do you post these entries? So you debit, prepare a PL appropriation account. This is the debit side, this is the credit side. So, PL appropriation account debit to 
salary to partners 100 right just like I took the example of salary to partner similarly all the other entries namely commission interest on capital and profit share of partner please note I'm talking about profit share of partner all of them have similar entries instead of the salary to partner account you will have commission to partner you will have interest on capital you will have share of profits all of them will be debited partners credit as account will capital account will be credited then to transfer this to the PL appropriation account you debit the PL appropriation account and you credit the salary to partners account you post this particular entry in the PL appropriation account right so that's how basically this PL appropriation things work for payments made by the firm